what's going on guys as you can see I've got the uh, well they're calling this the pioneer UFO JD 509 this comes to you courtesy of Banggood and uh, it's like a small Q500 model I want to say that's exactly what it's I uh, you know designed to replicate here is the Q500 uh, by unique um, it looks pretty cool but you know it's it's it says kind of as unstable as the big unique Q500 is um, we'll go into some of that it does have 5.8 live feed it has a nice little SD card slot here however I will say this about the SD card slot it's such a poor placement because of where the leg is you gotta click it and then carefully pull it out and put it back in I, I'm not a big fan of how they did that um, the camera does allow it to swivel here if you guys want to take a look at that you can swivel it down and up it doesn't give you much room to play and there's no actual gimbal so I just leave it pinned up uh, that way I can actually see FPV um, Runs on a little 2S battery with a JST connection, 3.7 volts. Uh, I assume this probably gets around a 6 minute flight time. Uh, it does come with an FPV screen, rechargeable right here. On off switch, fairly simple to use. Um, everything's labeled speed, uh, 360 flips, so click, choose a direction. It does have altitude, as you can see it is spring loaded, so we do have altitude. Uh, one key return, which I probably won't even test. Uh, light switch, I don't even know what that means. Uh, start and stop landing, so it does have auto takeoff and auto landing. Headless mode, photo and video. So pretty self-explanatory. It looks like a SEMA controller, a SIMA controller. It's pretty much what it looks like here, but let, uh, let's get this thing in the air. It's uh, Florida weather here, so. <laughs> the wind's starting to pick up and we have rainy storms every day. All right, let's turn that on. Little on off switch right there on the bottom. Ah, set that down turn on the transmitter we'll go up then down for binding procedure should be bound I have FPV on the screen here it's telling me there is an SD card in there it's ready for a picture uh, or video it tells me my uh, connection here it tells me my power level so this is actually a pretty nice little uh, FPV system I'm not gonna lie it even looks like it has a pretty clean image now I'm gonna assume this is probably gonna have quite a bit of jello but uh, We'll give it a shot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, start stop for landing. And we'll let it auto take off here. We'll give it a little power. It's up. As you can see, the breeze grabbed it pretty quick. Let me, uh, let me switch right into rates level two. Whoops. <laughs> that was interesting. I picked the wrong button. I did a flip. Let's try that again. There we go. Rates level two. Should have a little more control now. We have a constant breeze coming from this direction. So if I let it sit... It'll, uh, it'll start blowing that way pretty fast. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's buzz it around here. This is rates level two. It's too windy to be in uh, beginner mode. Let's see how it does up and over the cord. Beautiful, I'm just giving y'all authority, guys. Pushing forward and just giving small taps of y'all authority to turn. Big y'all authority, big, big, let it drift. Up over, just y'all. No roll factor. Roll is for nice smooth turns like this. You see what I'm saying? You get nice bank turns going when you use roll and yaw at the same time. But for you beginners, I would just use yaw authority. Push and turn. All right. Well, let's bring it back here. The altitude hold is working perfect. I'm going to go ahead and start a video. All right. says we're recording here. Let's take it out a little ways. Do a little range test on it. See how it does? Oh, it's got uh, pretty decent range. We'll try to make these turns look smooth. We'll use roll and yaw at the same time here. Roll right around the tree, take it out there. All right, let's uh, turn it around here. Slow her down. Let's put our rates level three now that the wind is really picking up here, as you can see. <laughs> now let's see how rates level three does. Take it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a lot zippier in rates level three. Oop, barometer got confused there. It's getting blown around by the wind pretty good. That's all right. <laughs> Zippy little thing. 
So it's crazy fast, nice and quiet. Does have brushed motors. Let's, uh, let's try some of the flips here. I have a feeling it's gonna be very unstable with the flips. We'll give it some altitude here and see if it can recover. All right, back flip. Nice, nice, definitely came down. Let's go right. Oh yeah, oh, oh, VRS, VRS, and no rescue. No rescue, it went into full VRS, guys, so be aware of that. Uh, flips are probably not good for this unit. It can do them, but it looks like it likes to really hit VRS. Let's go VRS again. Yep, it comes all the way down and touches. So flips are not good. It's a little too heavy for doing flips. I can see the LED pods. They're doing pretty good. All right, let's, uh, let's see. What was my initial takeoff? Let's put it in headless here. So I'm in headless mode. I should be able to yaw no matter what I do. Yep, headless is working perfect. Excellent. Headless mode works great. Let's take it out of headless mode here. Still recording. Let's uh let's see if we can take a picture and record at the same time. Photo. Nope, it stops the recording. All right, let's start recording again. Oh. Headless mode. Start recording. All right, back to recording here. Let's uh let's try this one key return. I'm really skittish to do this, but we'll try it anyways and then we'll run the battery out. All right, let's, uh, here we go. Oh yeah, I don't know where it's going. <laughs> well guys, we'll do that one more time here. So all I'm gonna do is hit the one key return. All right, you ready? One key return, and it's flying sideways. To get it out of one key, just tap any direction with the uh, right stick and it stops it. So, there you go. Well, let's run this battery out, man. Let's see how long the flight time is. We'll just keep it at rates level three. I'm impressed by how it flies though, it's very smooth. Very, very smooth. But I can tell you right now by looking at the screen, even though the FPV looks really good, uh, signal wise, it looks like it has a ton of jello. So if you could figure out how to get the jello out of the screen, I think you could actually probably fly this FPV. I don't think it would be too hard. I think I almost can. Let's see if I can here, I'll try. All right, FPV flying. Gonna kinda just do it slow here. Oh, I can fly FPV. It's not the smoothest and you gotta take it slow so the nose doesn't pitch down too far. But I can definitely fly at FPV. Volleyball net, up and over. It's getting blown by a lot of wind there. All right, well, you can fly at FPV. Uh, it's, I can tell you right now, though, there's a ton of jello in it. But if you wanted me to do the FPV test, 5.8, oh, it's auto landing, I think. Or was that VRS? Nope, because I have no power. I can't go up any higher. All right, she's gonna land. Or she's gonna dig. <laughs> One or the other. She's gonna land or dig. All right, well, she went into auto landing and uh, she didn't do a very good job landing because of the wind. I still have FPV. Let's go ahead and stop that video. Oh, it started recording again. Let's turn that off. So as soon as it uh, went into power, LVC, it stopped the recording for me. Well, we'll have to check that flight time, but uh, it's definitely flyable. Very easy to fly. Um, I'm not too impressed by the battery door either. So. <laughs> The SD card slot and the battery door are not wonderful. I also wish they would have worked a little closer on uh, trying to get some of the jello out of the camera, but I think that's easily fixable, guys. Uh, you could probably get some moon gel and put it in there and just put a very uh, light clamp to hold the camera on. I think you could probably get rid of the majority of the jello vibrations out of this. So, I like it. Uh, it's a fun toy. Once again, it is toy grade, so, you know, you get what you get. Um, battery time is actually pretty decent. FPV looks very clean. The signal on the screen is fantastic. But like I said, you can see all that je that uh, jello in there. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing flips with this. It's too heavy for itself. It uh, hits VRS really easily. Um, the rates button is perfect, man. It does very well. The headless mode was excellent. One key return kind of worked. I took off in that direction and it for some reason wanted to go over there. But it is what it is. <laughs> so, uh, and then you got all your normal trims. So. 
pretty simple setup, man. This took all of about 10 minutes to get put together and uh, ready to fly. So this is the uh, Pioneer UFO JD509, courtesy of Banggood. I will put a purchase link below for you guys if you're interested in buying it. And this is Drone Worship from somewhere in beautiful Tampa, Florida. And I'm out. Toodaroo.